Hello, everyone, and welcome to my Bachelor Nation 24 channel, I hope. Everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Max Stress makes move after Jen Tran flirted over podcast. Max Stress is making moves after Jen Tran flirted over a podcast. She appeared on the Vile Files. This is when she let fans know all of her dating details. Jen has been having a hard time. She is trying to heal and move on from her ended engagement with Devin Strader. However, she is now on Dancing with the Stars and keeping a smile on her face. Keep reading to find out more. Jen Tran shoots her shot. Jen Tran was on Nick Vile's podcast. During the episode, they talked about celebrity crushes. Max Stress makes moves. Max Stress must have heard that Jen Tran wanted to hear from him. She more than likely did not think that her comment was going to mean anything. However, it appears that Max has followed her on Instagram. Fans noticed and have gone wild. Everyone wants the best for Jen. She has not had the best experiences when it comes to dating. Devin changed as a person after filming stopped, and she was left high and dry. However, she did reveal that she was not in a place to be dating yet. Fans do not blame her for wanting to stay single for a while. It seems that Jin got Max's attention with her comment. Since then, he has followed her on Instagram. Maybe he even sent her a DM trying to set up a date. Who knows? Jen may not be interested in dating right now due to her heartbreak. However, that does not mean that she and Max may not be something more in the future. Max Stress was no stranger to the spotlight. As a professional basketball player with the Miami Heat, he had grown accustomed to handling the pressure on the court, the media scrutiny, and even the occasional celebrity gossip. But nothing could have prepared him for the whirlwind of attention that came after Bachelorette star Jen Tran flirted with him over a podcast. It all started innocently enough, as these things often do. Jen Tran, fresh off her dramatic season of The Bachelorette, had taken to podcasting. With her charm, wit, and unfiltered conversations, she quickly developed a loyal following. On one episode, Jen and her co-host were talking about celebrities they had crushes on. And it just so happened that Jen couldn't resist bringing up Max Stress. Okay, I know everyone's always talking about the typical stars, Jen said, her voice playful. But can we take a moment to appreciate Max Stress? I mean, have you seen him? That guy is, like, totally underrated. He's got that tall, quiet, but super confident vibe going on. I think we need more of that. Her co-host laughed, egging her on. Sounds like someone has a crush. Jin didn't shy away from the teasing. Oh, absolutely. Max, if you're listening, hit me up, she joked, though the mischievous glint in her eyes suggested there might have been a bit of truth to her playful banter. The podcast clip spread like wildfire. Fans of both the NBA and The Bachelorette flooded social media tagging Max in posts, sharing memes, and speculating about whether the two would ever connect. It was all in good fun at first, just another fleeting moment of celebrity crossover. But for Max, it wasn't something he could simply laugh off and move on from. Max Struss had always been the kind of guy to keep his personal life private. While other players reveled in the limelight and paparazzi attention, he preferred a quieter existence. Yet Jen's comments had struck a chord. He couldn't quite explain it, but something about her playful challenge intrigued him. He had first noticed Jen Tran during her time on The Bachelorette. While he wasn't someone who regularly followed reality TV, he had caught wind of her season through the endless stream of social media chatter. He admired how she handled herself amidst all the drama. Poised, smart, and always quick with a joke. In many ways, she reminded him of himself, a bit under the radar, but undeniably talented and likable. Still, Max wasn't one to leap into the public eye unless absolutely necessary. So while fans clamored for a response from him, he remained silent, at least on the outside. Behind the scenes, Max's friends were relentless. His phone buzzed constantly with messages from teammates and buddies, all telling him the same thing. Dude, you've got to respond to this. They teased him, 
sending him clips of the podcast and joking that it was his big chance to shoot his shot. One afternoon after practice, Max sat in his Miami condo, scrolling through the barrage of texts. A smile tugged at the corner of his lips as he watched the clip of Jen again. Her eyes sparkled with mischief, and her laugh was contagious. There was something undeniably refreshing about her. Okay, okay, he muttered to himself. Maybe it wouldn't be the worst idea. That's when Max made a move that caught everyone off guard. Instead of going the obvious route of sliding into Jen's DMs or making a public statement, he decided to take things into his own hands with a twist. The next morning, as the Miami Heat gathered for practice, Max casually mentioned to a few of his teammates that he was thinking of making a guest appearance on a podcast. The room went silent for a moment before erupting into a chorus of encouragement. You? On podcast? His teammate Jimmy Butler teased. This I've got to see. Max struggled, playing it cool. Yeah, why not? I think it's time to set the record straight. Within a few days, Max had worked with his agent to schedule a surprise guest spot on Jen's podcast. Jen had no idea. She thought she was recording another episode about post-bachelorette life, navigating her newfound fame, and addressing rumors. But when her co-host introduced a special guest, Jen's face lit up with curiosity. And when Max Dress appeared on the video feed, she nearly fell out of her chair. Wait, no way, Jen exclaimed, her hand flying to her mouth in shock. Max Dress, you're kidding? Max chuckled, his deep voice reverberating through the speakers. You called me out, so I thought it was only fair to show up. For the next hour, the two bantered back and forth with Max surprising Jen with his wit and humor. He wasn't just the stoic, intense athlete she had imagined. He was charming, funny, and down-to-earth. Jen, for her part, was equally as captivating, effortlessly navigating the conversation with ease, asking Max about everything from his basketball career to his thoughts on reality TV. The chemistry was undeniable. As the podcast episode drew to a close, Jen playfully asked, so, Max, what's next? Are you going to slide into my DMs now? Max leaned back, a sly smile on his face. I think we're already past that stage, don't you? The moment went viral almost instantly. Fans were quick to ship the two, flooding social media with comments and hashtags like hashtag Max and Jin and hashtag podcast flirtation. Speculation ran wild, with people debating whether their flirtatious back and forth was just for show, or if something real might be brewing beneath the surface. As for Max and Jen, well, they both enjoyed the playful attention, but neither was in a rush to define whatever was happening between them. Max returned to the court with renewed energy, and Jen continued to dominate the podcast scene with her signature charm. But every now and then, they'd exchange a text, a DM, or even a casual phone call, both knowing that sometimes, the best connections start with a bit of unexpected flirtation over a podcast mix.